Hi YouTubers, this is Scott from Thinkyhead Software, thinkyhead.com, and I'm here today to demo for you my first um, iPhone and iPod Touch app Chord Calc, which is a calculator for chords. And uh, if you're a musician, or you're, especially if you're a guitar player, uh, you might find this really useful because it's for, it's basically to help you to find chords, um, figure out how they fit together, see how they fit with scales and uh, do all kinds of things like you can listen to them, you can you know interact with the fretboard and put the chords in and actually find out what they're called and uh, it's very flexible. It's not really a chord um, library in the traditional way that a lot of um, chord apps have been built. It doesn't have a fixed number of chords. It actually calculates what the chords are based on where the notes are. And, uh, it has, you know, I believe there's about 2048 different chord names that it knows so it figures it out from uh, the notes that you're using and the context. And of course, every chord has mul multiple names, so it keeps that in mind as well. So the first thing you'll notice when you open up Chord Calc is it's got a big calculator bar at the top uh, with the name of the chord that you're looking at right now, which is C, a good basic chord. Uh, below that are the other names that that chord could be if you would change the root to these other notes. So for example, if you wanted to call it uh, a chord starting with E, um, you can actually, I'll just scroll that up and we'll call it an E minor flat 6. Um, for one reason or another, in a different context, it might actually be a better name for the chord. Or maybe you uh, dropped the fifth out of it and uh, you're adding it back or you're doing something with that note, that fifth note of the E. Uh, in that case, you'd have a good reason to call it an E minor flat 6. So basically, this just gives you a, a sense of other names that your chord could be. And uh, by knowing those other names, you, it gives you some hint as to the functions that your notes will have in different contexts. Uh, down here at the bottom, we have uh, your calculator style buttons, which are traditional. Uh, and those you can use just to uh, add and remove tones from the chord at will. Uh, so I'm just going to add a C, E, and G. And uh, we'll add a B here. And from that, we get a C major 7 chord. Uh, so very simple, um, you can hold and press on the root note to get the functions of the chord. You can see there's our you know, C, the 3rd, the 5th, the 7th. Uh, and so if I wanted to change that 7 to a 6 very quickly, there you go. Uh, and uh, you can get pretty, pretty intense with the different uh, things in your chord. There's a, a C plus, or C <laughs> sharp 5 chord. Uh, so you can do all that. Um, the notes that you see here, um, the buttons, the ones that are buttony are the ones that are in your current scale, and the ones that are in red are the ones that are outside of the current scale. And the current scale is set in a different tab, and there's a few of them here, and I'll show you that one next. So there's the scale tab, and we're in, currently using the Ionian major scale, and the chord is in the key of C, because the keys are listed in this grid uh, in the order of the circle of fifths starting with C at the top. So you can add and remove notes here in this interface if you want, uh, the same way as with the buttons up front. And then you can uh, do other things like you can drag the chord around to transpose it through the different keys or across to get the different harmonies of the scale. So that's a very easy way to find the chords that fit in different scales. Uh, especially as you add extensions to them and things like that, ninths and thirteenths and things. Um, you can use this grid as a pager and just page through to the different scales. So we have Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, the different modes of the major scale. And in those modes the, the chord actually moves around so that it fits in the same kind of uh, place. You know, like uh, C, C in the... well, going back to that C chord, um, that uh, C chord there. Um, C over here is, you know, basically equivalent to C over here in the Dorian. So it's a good way to get around if you know your modes. You can start to see how things fit in that way too. Uh, so a very quick way to get around. Um, there's some other little tricks in there, which is like double tap, uh, triple tap. Uh, we'll give you, whoop, there you go, a whole triad. Um, and there is, you can tap on the name of the scale, and it gives you all the options. So you can jump right to Lydian. Uh, and then, 
well, that's pretty much it. Um, that's a pretty simple thing. Uh, is the next bit is the circle. Uh, and the circle is just basically, here's the C chord in the context of that, that same scale. Um, and you can just move around, again, the different uh, harmonies of the scale. Here you can switch to another view which shows you the notes of your chord. G, B, D, again. The blue notes here are the ones that are in the key, in the current key, and the ones that are uh, in black are outside of it. Uh, so you can very quickly, boom, 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 and you can do this to transpose it. And there's another view where it gives you half steps. Uh, so another another view on your chord, and then of course there's a little piano keyboard here, and there'll be a probably a guitar. I th I'm thinking for the next version down here as well. Uh, that just shows you the how it fits into the piano keyboard, and uh, the blue again, the you know in key, and the ones that are not. The black ones are outside the key, so this is a C, a C major, or one of those modes that it looks just like C major. And uh, the last tab that I'm going to show you is the guitar tab, uh, and that's very easy. You just you can input notes here. Um, you can have it automatically find chords for you by using this bracket, and you can change the size of that if you have a longer stretch. And you can listen to your chords. You can turn this on and off to sort of see the scale in a clearer fashion. Uh, you can switch the mode view, so you're seeing functions or notes and different things, whether ghosted or not ghosted. You can flip the view. Uh, you can choose different scales in the full version of this app. Um, uh, in the light version, you just have standards, so there's no picker here. Um, you can also uh, turn the unit sideways, um, and s everything uh, will uh, oops, I close that first. Uh, and you can see that all the uh, the notes and things all turn sideways as well, and the buttons they follow you. So it's very easy to uh, use if you if you're used to looking at the guitar in a sideways way, uh, then this will work better for that. Uh, and the crowning feature, I guess, of the app is that you can just tap on the name of the chord, and then just you can just type in chord names, and it'll figure out what the notes of the chord are. So you can say D minor nine. And, uh, yeah, you know, I should probably look, in, look in this stuff up in a database, but it actually calculates this from the, the different extensions you use and the, and the root note. Um, and then, so if I say D minor 9, 11, uh, it'll automatically put the slash in there for me and stuff. Uh, and then when I say done, boom, now it's figured out the notes for me, and uh, it seems to fit in my scale, because they're all yellow and white. And, oh, it sounds lovely. You can see there's a nice playback animation there when you listen to the chord just recently added. Um, so that's that's most of what it does. Um, you can uh, see at the top there's the, the notes of your tuning and as you change through them you can see they they change. The dots on the on the neck are, are changing in real time as you go through the different tunings so it's very quick to see how your chord fits in say open G or whatever. And uh, yeah that's pretty much uh, all of chord calc. There's a there's a help in the back. There's some options for uh, the view. Uh, if you're not sure how what a note is, it'll even it probably even tells you what that is. Uh, so I hope you like it, and uh, I hope you find it really useful. Um, I'm hoping to put some really cool features in upcoming versions, like a pattern sequencer and things like that. So uh, please buy it. Uh, I'm I'm a period, it's periodically on sale, but it's only three bucks, um, and it's a it's a great app uh, for music. And uh, as I look at it now on the iPad, it actually looks pretty cool. But on your iPod, it, it's just perfect. It fits in your pocket. It sounds great. Um, it has all the uh, all the stuff you would need as a as a kind of a, a musician to play around with chords. And um, and it's only going to keep getting better. So buy it now. <laughs> Thanks a lot for uh, watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, it's thinkyhead.com. Bye bye.